In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through my essential WordPress plugins for 2016. I've got some free ones and I've got some premium ones, so uh, well, let's check them out. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through some of my essential plugins for 2016. Plugins that I use all the time on pretty much all the websites that I create and that I've used and tested and think are really good. So, uh, well, let's get straight into them. Okay, the first set of plugins, I've got five of them for you, are premium plugins, which means there is a small fee in order to get hold of them but it also means that they're of a much higher quality than the free plugins that you see, and you get support, and you get free updates, and yeah, basically they're just really good and worth the money, and they're all plugins that I've used myself and have paid for, etc. So let's get started with number one. Okay, so the first one is a re-entry from last year's video, and of course it's Gravity Forms, which is a plugin I use on pretty much every website that I create that needs a contact form. So if you're not familiar with Gravity Forms, it's obviously a form plugin, as the name suggests, and it allows you to create all sorts of forms using a really easy to use drag and drop builder within WordPress. So why would you need a form plugin? Well, obviously uh, for a contact us page, it's really useful to have a form so that people can get in touch with you. But you can also use this plugin for more complex things like multi-page forms, say for an application form uh, on a financial type website. Uh, and you can also include conditional logic on those forms, which basically means that the fields and the form can change depending on what people input uh, as their answer. It also comes with a host of add-ons, which allow you to plug it into different systems like WooCommerce, uh, MailChimp, uh, and all sorts of things. Uh, and they all come free if you take on the developer license, which is the one that I've got and I renew every year because as I say, I just use it on every single website that I create. So yeah, if you haven't checked out Gravity Forms, uh, and you're not using it on your websites, uh, do go and check it out, I highly recommend it. So Gravity Forms is available from gravityforms.com. I will put a link up on the video now. And the price starts from just $39 for a single license. The next plugin I want to talk about is called Maintenance Pro, and it's a maintenance mode plugin. So a maintenance mode plugin is useful for when you're building a website and you wanna get a page up uh, on the domain that kind of says, you know, coming soon, maybe with a counter, some forms, links to your social media, that sort of thing. And that's what Maintenance Pro does for you. You simply install the plugin, turn it on, and it creates a lovely maintenance page for you with a, a selection of different templates you can choose from. And you can work uh, in the background while you're logged in and all your visitors to the site see a lovely page and uh, you let them know when your website will be ready. Now, of course, there are a number of free maintenance mode plugins out there, uh, which will do a similar job, but I've not found one of this kind of quality, which has uh, some really easy to use templates and it just basically looks great. And uh, again, I use it all the time when I'm building websites and I need to hide the site until it's ready to be launched. Maintenance Pro is available from Code Canyon. I will put a link up on the screen and it's just $15, a bargain. Third plugin in this list is a new entry this year and it's WooZone, which I'm sure a lot of my viewers are familiar with. Now WooZone is a plugin that turns your WooCommerce site, which we're gonna get onto in a second, into an Amazon affiliate website. It enables you to quickly search for Amazon, find the products you want and download them onto your website uh, all the images, pricing, all that sort of thing, and basically allows you to create a mini kind of store using WordPress full of affiliate products from Amazon. Now, this plugin has had its ups and downs. I will say that we've been working with it through some of my other tutorial videos, which I suggest you check out. I've got some on how to use this plugin to create a site uh, from start all the way through to launching it. And yeah, some of my viewers have had their ups and downs of the plugin with regards to support. But what I will say is that the plugin is updated regularly. The support do get back to you if you're patient and I'm here for you if you use this plugin. Uh, I've got lots of tips and tricks and advice on it. So uh, I can still recommend it uh, wholeheartedly because it's a great plugin and there isn't many others out there that do what this plugin actually does in terms of allowing you to create an Amazon affiliate website really easily. So yeah, worth checking out. WooZone is available on Code Canyon. I'll put a link up right now and it's just $34. Fourth plugin I want to talk about is Easy Social Share, which again was featured in my last video, the one I did last year on the plugins, but it's been updated and it's even better than it was back then. So this plugin allows you to add social sharing buttons to your content, to your posts and your pages. Uh, it covers all the major social networks and some of the less known ones as well. 
One of the things I love about this plugin are the button templates that come included with it. So these are the buttons for Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Pinterest and all those sort of things. There's loads to choose from, which means you can find something that fits your site really well. Uh, you can have counters on them, you can have them floating on the side, you can have them at the top of the content, at the bottom of the content, or both if you like. Uh, it's got some really good mobile settings, so you can adjust your buttons so they look really good on a mobile and a tablet. And yeah, basically it's just got everything you need. It's got loads and loads of options uh, if you want to adjust them, or you can just go through the wizard and get it set up in a couple of minutes. So I haven't found any plugin like this, whether it be uh, premium or free in terms of adding social sharing buttons. And social sharing buttons are an essential part of a blog uh, stroke website nowadays, because you really want to encourage some social sharing um, because it just helps you get traffic and your SEO and all that sort of stuff. So this plugin is highly recommended. If you haven't got social sharing buttons on your website, you need to get it now. Easy social sharing is available from Code Canyon. It's just $19. I will put a link up on the screen now. My fifth and final premium plugin for this video is called Twitter Feed. And yeah, you guessed it. It allows you to add your Twitter feed to your WordPress website in a really easy and stylish way. Adding your Twitter feed is a great way to make your site more dynamic, as obviously it pulls in your live tweets as and when you tweet onto your website so everyone can read them and they can click through, follow you, share, um, retweet, all that sort of stuff. The reason I love this plugin is because it's really easy to set up and install and it's got some uh, fancy options when it comes to uh, displaying your tweets. So you can have uh, static tweets, you know, just tweets just, you know, there on your page. You can have uh, tweets that scroll in and out, fade in and out, all sorts of things. So uh, that's why I love it because it often looks really good uh, once you've added it to your website. So uh, go check it out. Twitter feed is available on Code Canyon. It's just $15 and I'll put a link up on the screen now. Go check it out. Let's get on to the free plugins. There's some great plugins out there for WordPress that are free to use. And these are the ones that I use on a regular basis. So let's have a look. All the free plugins are available from wordpress.org or you can just simply install them by going to plugins and add new uh, from within your WordPress dashboard. Now the first one is everyone's favorite free plugin and that is Akismet. Akismet helps you get rid of that annoying comment spam that you tend to get on WordPress website. You know the stuff for Viagra and all that kind of rubbish that you get in your comments uh, when you start adding content to your website. What Akismet does is it goes through all your comments that come onto the website and using some server-based data, it will flag them as spam if it's seen them before as you know a spammy type comment, allowing you to just moderate them as and when you need it and you know clearly see the real comments um, that you wanna add to your site and reply to and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, an essential one for your WordPress website. The second free plugin that I wanna talk about is called WordPress Fastest Cache. I think that's it, faster cache, uh, WPFC for short. And this is a new caching plugin that I've been trying out this year, and I've had some great success with it. So caching plugins are an essential thing to install on your WordPress website because they make it load faster, which is obviously a good thing because Google likes fast sites, you know, visitors will appreciate a fast site, Everyone loves a fast site, so uh, why wouldn't you install it? Now, there is a load of uh, caching plugins available for WordPress. Uh, there's some big ones like W3, etc., which I've tried out before. But the reason why I love uh, WPFC is because it's really easy to set up and configure. There isn't huge amounts of options that you need to wade through. There's just a few that you can tick a few boxes and then kind of measure the performance increase that you get from that. There's not much more to say about WPFC apart from go get it, install it. And if you are using other caching plugins, I suggest you take a look at it because as I say, it's really easy to use and you get a great performance boost from it um, just from the most basic of settings. There is a premium version available if you want it, but I found the free version works just fine and um, there's probably not much reason for you to upgrade to premium unless you just wanna squeeze a few uh, more seconds off that uh, load time on your website. The third plugin I want to talk about uh, was featured in my last video and it's back again and it's WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce is an e-commerce plugin, so it transforms your WordPress website into an online shop, allowing you to sell uh, products, whether they be physical or digital um, or whatever you like. It supports a host of different payment gateways, so you can take your money from your customers using PayPal or Sage or Stripe, or th there's a ton of different uh, payment gateways that kind of plug into WooCommerce, so it should have one that suits your needs. Speaking of extensions, WooCommerce has loads, which uh, makes it one of my favorite plugins. So say you wanna sell some bookings for an event, there's a plugin for that. Say you wanna sell training, there's a plugin for that. If you wanna sell subscriptions, you can do that too. There's an extension that fits into WooCommerce to do that. Basically, the list goes on. Uh, WooCommerce as it comes is powerful, but then with all the extensions, it really becomes something else. So if you're looking to sell anything via your website, uh, your first stop needs to be WooCommerce. 
The fourth plugin I want to talk about is Yoast SEO, one of my favorite plugins. I use this on all my websites and you'll find it in many of my videos. It's a great way to make sure that your website is SEO friendly. Uh, SEO means search engine optimization. So I'm talking about getting your website ready for Google so that when Google comes in, it finds all the words in the right place and can read your pages really well, which of course will help you rank better. It's also got some other features like XML sitemaps so that you can submit a basically a map of your website to Google. So Google knows exactly which pages and posts you want it to index and where it can find them. You can go through each page and post on your website, optimizing it for certain keywords and Yoast is there for you, helping you optimize, giving you suggestions and all sorts of things. I've got loads of videos on SEO on my channel, so uh, be sure to check them out. But if you're looking to improve your search engine rankings, then Yoast SEO is definitely an essential plugin that you need for your WordPress website. Okay, the final plugin that I want to talk about in this video is Google Analyticator. Again, this was in my last video um, because again, I use it all the time. It's been updated. It's got even better since then. But it's basically an easy way to add Google Analytics to your website. For those of you who don't know what Google Analytics is, it's a package that you get from Google for free. And using this plugin, you can add it to your WordPress website and then you can track your visitors as they kind of come to your website and browse around. It's full of all sorts of reports, but basically you can see how many people have come to your website, how long they spent on the site, uh, what pages they looked at, whether they filled in any forms, and tons and tons of other information. So yeah, it's really essential just uh, if you want to find out how well your website's doing, but it's also good if you want to optimize your marketing efforts because you can clearly see what's working, what's bringing traffic to your website, and what's not. Now, Google Analytics uses a kind of tracking code that needs to be added to your uh, pages. And this plugin kind of makes it really easy to do that. So you don't have to worry about uh, you know coding or editing theme files or anything like that. Just install this plugin, connect it to your Google account, and off you go. So that's the end of this video on my essential plugins for WordPress uh, in 2016. Uh, I'd love to hear which plugins you use on your WordPress websites, which ones you love, and um, even which ones that you don't love so much. Uh, it'd be really interesting to hear that. Obviously, if you've got any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you as well. Please post them below. Subscribe for more videos, and uh, if you could like this video, that really helps me out too. Uh, but until next time, uh, goodbye for now.